Welcome to the theater of magic. Seven o'clock. Magic. Eight o'clock. Hocus pocus. Nine o'clock. Packed magic. Ten o'clock. Vanquish the chain. Eleven o'clock. You must break through. Midnight madness. Tiger song. <laughs> Mystifying. Unbelievable. Spectacular. The theater awaits. Guys, welcome to the theater of magic. My name is Greg. I tell you what, I'm not very happy. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know how this has happened, right? I I just had this room all moved around and everything was looking sweet and was playing games and having fun. And now look at it, it's a mess. <laughs> Machines everywhere, they're apart, I've got problems. Well, I, I don't have problems, but I've got problems with my machines, which is giving me problems. So what the hell is going on? Well, I thought, how about I do a bit of an update because these machines are all in a state of partial restoration, cleaning, fixing. But let me just quickly zoom around the room. I'll get the, the camera off the tripod and I'll show you the state of everything at the moment. All right, well, let's start with the missile command. I keep talking about this in lots of episodes. <laughs> I keep saying it's working and the control panels need fixing, and that's still the case. So you can see I do actually have a working board in here. I did a lot of work on this guy to get it going, and uh, the screen's actually up too high. There's a really bad burn in down the bottom here, guys. From I mean, this is the original monitor for sure. The rest of it though is damn nice in terms of the screen picture but yeah no controls on both sides and part of that you know was supposed to be getting a design from John at John's Arcade which was about I don't know seven months ago or something or six months ago so, or no. all right the next one here is from Greg from Australia uh, the picture is right here of what we're talking about so here's the artwork so as you can see this artwork is is really different than the Atari missile command and it's pretty simple and basic really it wouldn't be too hard to vectorize that best wishes Greg from Australia so Greg is asking me to help him vectorize the artwork I can take this on. I think this is kind of fun. I, you know, I see the artwork. It doesn't look hard at all. And yes, I agree. It would be kind of a fun little video. Maybe midweek. I don't know. But uh, Greg, I'm going to commit to this. I will do this video. Um, I, I, I don't know when. It's probably going to be in, in, uh, two, three, four weeks from now. But we will do this. We will definitely do this. I've been wanting to do graphic design video anyway. So this looks like a great little project. So Greg, I, take on, I, I will take on your challenge. But uh, I know he's been busy and he was going to redo the illustration for the the artwork on there. But look, that hasn't, to be perfectly honest, that's not holding me up. Um, I really just need to rebuild the controls. I need to get all the rust off the panels and they're in another room at the moment and uh, get them painted and get it done. So anyway, that's, that's project number one, guys. Then we move around to our good friend championship sprint it is off why is it off well you know why it's off because i took the cpu board out of here to get the super sprint going so this is now not working so i had a working game and i'm going backwards guys taking taking things apart and making them worse the hyper olympic does indeed work so that's a good thing but we've got this horrible lcd screen in here as you already know and guess what guys the I took that other monitor back to, to uh, Joey. You remember, if you watch those earlier episodes, I, um, and by the way, this has got a um, Jammer Pie in here just going through the attract mode at the moment. Um, I'll get to the menu. Where's the menu? There we go. Um, and I took that monitor to, to Joey's because, yeah, in that previous episode, I was explaining how there was no... Um, the, the heater element that was, you know, in the tube, I, don't, I think was at fault because I was getting no neck glow. And when I took it to Joey, sure enough, he tested it and it's an open circuit. So it looks like even though there's no visible damage, guys, this is one of the things you've got to be really careful with these old CRTs. If you are taking them apart, getting the chassis out, it may have been just me wiggling the neck board was enough to just break the connections inside um and now if the tube is useless um again you can't visibly see any damage but it was just enough to 
um, you know, break a connection within inside the tube. So be real careful when you're removing neck boards off CRTs, guys. I mean, I, I, I thought I was being pretty careful, to be honest, but it's just a really, really old tube. So now I need to get some other replacement for that. And uh, that means trying to source another 20 inch screen from somewhere. Next project, the Space Invaders. Well, let's turn this guy on. So, it does boot. And the good thing is, is at least touch wood, we get some monitor response. Here we go. So if he lines up on the screen, sometimes it does a little bit more than that. Tends to show a bit of logic and things moving around. And at the moment it's very static. It seems to be quite random when you turn it on. So still suspecting RAM at this point. You can see the monitor actually down the bottom here, reflecting up on the screen. Let me just reset it. I'll just show you what it does on a, on a different reset. Actually got sound this time. So at least the sound's working as well. So yeah, it tries to go through its reset sequence and doesn't make it. Um, but it's good to hear the sound, I must admit. At least the sound circuits are working. So anyway guys, I've got a Braze uh, multi-kit uh, daughter board that will go in here and replace the ROMs. And also it has a really comprehensive test as part of that setup. Now because we're getting video, I'm hoping that once we put the Braze kit in at least it will get to the test phase. And then I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me that the memory's at fault. We'll have to source some memory chips and get that swapped out. So that's the state of Spaceys. Okay, and we come round to the triple screen main box. Now, this has actually been behaving itself touch wood lately. And uh, that's because I had to put in a number of scripts to copy the full configuration over from a backup every time it boots. Funny, actually, because that's exactly what they do on the... Chinese uh, 1001 you know game board setups that are on uh, Windows 2000 the Chinese version they have a whole setup uh, configured so that it recopies everything when it reboots so that the configuration will work just in case something gets corrupted and I've been having issues with this ever since I've gone to Windows 10 but you know no internet updates now so that stopped that whole lot of grief um, and uh, yeah, it's now working. This particular game doesn't have a marquee, which is why it's got showing just this default Arcade Legends. But uh, we do have a flyer up there. And um, yeah, this is all pretty good, guys. But I'm still, this whole panel's got to be redone. Now I've got all these other machines. I really need to get this resorted out. So that's just a project to be done. But I guess at least it's working. Hook around to the Astro City. We're on screenshot mode with the Jammer Pie in there at the moment. And this guy is just awesome. <laughs> I still love this machine. And there's nothing to be done. So <laughs> that's actually a good thing. Um, that's really the only really machine at the moment that I'm sort of 100% happy with. <laughs> Although I do, I'm still working through the, the list of games on here, guys. And uh, I'm slowly getting this down to be um, at the moment it's got a lot of old school stuff like you know Mr. Doing all that but I'm, I've actually separated this in a list and all of these old school ones will actually come out of here and will end up in the um, Hankin cocktail machine and then I'll be left with uh, all the 90 shooters in this uh, setup when it's going to be awesome when I get that done so I have been going through all of these and sorting them out and finding out which ROMs don't work and what's freezing and performance issues and I'm trying to fix it up and use different versions of MAME and different ROM versions to sort out all those issues. So yeah, that's just a software thing that I'm doing, um, but otherwise the cab guys is all good. Moving around, we have our fake Sega Blast. This is working and Occasionally it has a, an issue where the screen will roll, but it's, that's only happened a couple of times. Once when, the, when I did that video with my nieces, and that happened mid-game, mid and it started scrolling. 
um, and occasionally when you first boot it, it does that. But look, it, I, I don't think that's actually a, an issue. It's like really, really scarce for that to happen. The big thing though here, guys, is I don't want this in here. I want the real Sega Blast. And of course, where is that? It's in the study in pieces. I haven't got back to it since I took it apart. So yeah, um, I need to get that out of here. What else we got? Well, moving around to the APB machine, it is around on its side. Well, why is that? Well, you can see there the chassis is missing from the back. So remember guys, this chassis, if you've seen the previous videos, keep bugging out on me and causing the screen to go sort of like an inverse color and then you know you sort of give it a tap and it will come back and it kept doing that intermittently and it was really annoying because it just could not play world rally for any length of time and um that was just just getting to me that i needed to get that fixed so i ripped that out of there and that went off to joey for repairs but that means of course the machine is down and taken up half the room in the corner here We've got stuff all over the pinball machine from doing the super sprint work. Uh, the pinball machine, of course, the virtual pinball machine is all working properly, but I still have a problem with the plunger. I need to get another kit because it's not registering properly and it's flicking up and down the old board in there. So got to get a new kit from Zeb's board. Haven't got that on order yet and then get that fixed. So we still have a problem there. Super Sprint, well, <laughs> we're making progress with this one, but again, it's not working, is it, at the moment? Haven't got the monitor back in here um, from Joey, but of course, once that comes back, I'm expecting that all the colours will be back, so we should be on the road to getting this sorted, and then, of course, we'll get the uh, controls sorted out, and that should be a working game, but still a bit of work to be done. Got to fix this up, clean this up. Um, yeah, still lots to do. Then we've got... Ice cold beer, not currently on. Um, got to do something with this screen at some point, guys. It's just not the right size for it. Really wanted to double up with some sort of larger touch screen interface to play ice cold beer and then also be able to swap in and play music videos and that sort of stuff on a jukebox type of style thing. But that's just so far away for me to even look at that because of all these other things that I've got to do. So, uh, yeah, that's where that's at. And the Wonder Boy, the Hankin um, <laughs> cocktail, which is being used as a table. That's the problem with these cocktails, guys. They're always used as a table. And stuff gets stuck on them all over the place. But anyway, this, of course, did come out beautifully. We got it all nice. Um, in terms of how it looks, the fan is still absolutely cactus in it, and that needs to be sorted out. And, of course, uh, Wonder Boy does work. I have noticed that first time you power up Wonder Boy, it gets graphical corruption. You have to turn it off and turn it on, and then it's all good. So I don't know if that's a power thing or not. But regardless, it is working fine once it uh, comes up. And um, you know, I'm really happy with the cabinet. Just need to get a jammer pie in here, swap the screen around into a vertical orientation, get all the old games on there, guys, and this will be cranking. So, yeah. And that is the last project in here um, but yeah as you can see I'm I'm not happy because <laughs> everything's all over the place I really want to get this into a state where you know just most of the, well all the games are working <laughs> you know that's the whole point should be able to come in here and play all these games but um, it's not to be at the moment but at least I guess at least I have a plan a plan for every single one of these to be fixed and I just need to now work through it methodically and then I can get them all sorted and uh, we can be playing in here again guys so there you go guys that's the state of the projects in the room at the moment you must continue you can do it you are amazing the theatre is now closed.